All right, what's going on? It's your boy, Young Nash, 911. Y'all can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram. Either way, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Finna kick off the interview with my boy, Mike Fees. You know what I'm saying? Give me the opportunity to do this. I appreciate you. And I appreciate all my fans, my followers. You know what I'm saying? Without y'all, none of this would happen. Click on the interview. I about start, start. I about what inspired you to rap? Really, when I was probably about 12, 13, I started like reading poetry books. And while I was reading the poetry books, I was also listening to Eminem, you know, Kid Rock. And I seen other white people doing it, you know what I'm saying, and actually getting heard. I never thought that a white boy could get heard. So while I was working with my poetry, I was starting to learn how to spit it. You know what I'm saying? Ever since then, I've just learned how to put everything that I've encountered, you know what I'm saying? I learned how to put it into one for my music. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, keep your dream. Don't stop. Yeah, Don't yeah. quit. Keep on pushing. No matter what, pray until something happens. That's what I mean by push. Yeah. But at the same time, what do you think about the music business today's generation? Man, with today's music generation, man, I just don't understand it. It's like, so often it's not the real being put into the people's music anymore. It's what someone else would want them to say. You know what I'm saying? It's too much of corporations that are running these artists nowadays on the, on the radio, you know what I'm saying? Getting the music videos played and all that. And they're not showing what everyone actually goes through. They just talk about turn up, turn up, you know what I'm saying, having fun. That's not what life is all about all the time. So do you think that's a bad thing or a good thing? I think too much of it is a bad thing, just like with anything else in life. You know what I'm saying? If you overdo something, it can become bad for you, no matter what it is. Okay, that's what's up. So, um... I heard some of your music, which is pretty good. It's very enlightening. It's for the people. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? You wanna, you trying to change the game in another route and do your thing. Um, hey, you thought of a name of your new mixtape? For my for my first mixtape, man, I'm gonna actually drop it as Victory Music Part One. I'm gonna actually try to have a couple of different parts to it. You know, as my career builds up, it's gonna add more parts to the Victory Music. You know whole outlook, you know what I'm saying? What inspired you to name your music Victory Music? Like, what what that mean to you? What Victory Music means to me is actually what my life is built on. Me chasing a happier day, you know, better days. You know what I'm saying? And through listening to my music, it, I wanted to inspire people. You know what I'm saying? I want people to be inspired to do something better with themselves than just the normal. You know what I'm saying? What everybody else is doing. Go out there and chase your own dreams. So, after everything that's happening in the rap game, what do you think should change? What do I think they should change in the rap game? Man, that's actually a good one. I ain't never heard of that one. Honestly, I think we need more independent artists. I think we need a lot more independent artists in the music industry because we are the ones that tell more of the truth. Because we're the ones that don't get that 360 deal. You know what I'm saying? We the ones that have to go get that 9 to 5, who struggle to pay the bills. You know, if for the ones that got kids, they got to keep pamphlets on their kids without trying to sell drugs. Or, you know what I'm saying, just have a plan to fall back on. So, I know you like music. You know, you very talented. What made you come up with the name Young Nash 9-11? Uh, man. Young Nash is because I was the youngest boy. You know what I'm saying? I was the last of the Nashes. So that automatically brought Young Nash. But when I got out of TYC, I was released on September 11th of 2013. You know what I'm saying? So 9-11, everybody was talking about it. It was a pretty big day, especially for me to be released. I just thought of it kind of ironic. Okay, that's what's up. I, I like that. That's a good point, you know. I'm glad that you, it means something to you and it's not nothing that you just did. Like most of these rappers, you know, they make stuff and they just do it. They don't have no meaning behind it. Yeah. So with that being said, how long have you been rapping? Man, I really, compared to most of these other artists, I really ain't been rapping long. I only been rapping, like for real rapping since I was 15. 
It's long enough. Ain't nothing wrong with it. We all got to start somewhere, you know. Okay, so you told me that you work. You know, you got a nine to five. It ain't important where you work at. It's, it's that you got a job ch chasing that check, that bag or whatever. But do you want to work or are you doing it just to survive? I, I hate working a nine to five, man. I, I, I really don't like having to be stuck. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time I'm working 50 plus hours a week. So I can't just sit down. I can't write a song. I can't even sleep good enough at night, you know what I'm saying? So better yet, I can't get into the studio. Can't do a lot of stuff. And just struggling to pay the bills keeps me from chasing my music. Don't never stop with your dream, man. Always follow the first mind or don't even follow your first mind, follow your instinct. But with that being said, you know, my brother just walked in, the man with the plan, goddamn me, you know what I'm saying? He got a nine to five too, goddamn me. We all trying to grind, you know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> yeah. But shit, at the same time, young man, I remember when I um met you in Fort Worth for the first time, you actually rocked the show, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, what inspired you to write that song that you performed and what was the name of the song that you performed? All right, the name of the song was actually Hit the Lab. It was me and 3RD, we went ahead and we sat down and it was like, man, let's make something for the artists, for the people who just want to sit back and chill and vibe to their music, you know what I'm saying? Say you want to turn the beat on and just relax, you know what I'm saying? You turn that song on, you like you a blunt, you know, whatever it is that you feel like you got to do and just relax. That's what's up. That's that feel good music, yeah. 100. But we're going to change it to victory music, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own thing going on, and that's what we're trying to bring. Everybody recognition and brand. So with that being said, where do you and Grip and Grain stand? I know that that's not a major company, but it's soon to be a major company. Is yeah. are, are they independent, or do they got a label deal? or What, what kind of deal are you looking for in music? See, with Grip and Grain, man, we ain't really got no deal. Yeah, we're we're really just a a very outstretched team, man. We really we we don't mess with each other as much as we should. You know what I'm saying? And that puts us all chasing our own things. We ain't got no actual record label who is looking at us. We ain't got much right now. So we all just building up our name as we go. Okay. And do do you do you have plans for your own label in the future? Yeah, I actually want to start a label named after one that my uncle was going to have before he passed away. He was going to put me on his. It's going to be called Gorillas in the Trunk. You know what I'm saying? And after I get that started, it's going to, it's going to be game over. What that stand for? Gorillas in the Trunk, man, it's just the fact that don't nobody really know what you got until you pop the trunk on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so whenever, whenever I make the label and we go ahead and pop the trunk, they're going to see that we all gorillas. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want to see who all real about their music before I start my label. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, you independent the way to be. You know what I'm saying? You got a job. You grinding for this. You doing everything. Yeah. Soon, you you be in the studio sometime because I heard your music. I know a while ago you said you don't really have time, but you you all over the internet. You know what I'm saying? I see you on SoundCloud, Facebook, Reverb Nation, promoting hard, but... At the same time, tell the people where can they find your music at? Yeah, man, you can find my music really on SoundCloud. Look me up at Young Nash 911. It's Y O U N G N A S H on SoundCloud. You can look me on Instagram or Facebook, Y U N G N A S H 911. You know what I'm saying? Instagram gonna have little pieces for you. Anywhere you wanna look me up, Google me. You know what I'm saying? I'm there. What they need to Google? Young Nash 911, that's all you got to look up. Y U N G N A S H. Already, that's what's up. Okay, um, we have like two minutes left before we wrap up the interview. Do you want to bust a freestyle or say something you wrote? It don't matter what you do, just let the people know, let the people hear you. All right, I got, I got something for you. Hold on. This is my moment and I own it. Shit on mom got me be zoning. And I do this to the fullest. Go ahead, tell me what you want. And scratch that, tell me what you need. I have you craving like a fiend. For this music that I'm bringing in this game, I reign supreme. Be like, damn. Said that white boy be so cold. Do not grab what you can't hold. And I'm about to lose control. Cause my flow be so damn crucial. I erase you like a doodle. These boys, so damn. It's all good, yeah. reputation perfect, that's enough. <laughs> they gotta pay for them bars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real talk, they gonna have to pay for them bars, real talk. 
But I like what you're doing, man. Is there anything that you want to tell the world man. before we wrap the interview up? I just want to tell y'all to go ahead and lace up. You know what I'm saying? I want to send a shout out to MGK, man. You need to check me out. We got to do a song together. Uh, to my fans, man. Y'all show me, show me how much y'all actually want to see or feel me. You know what I'm saying? Show me that, cause that's gonna be the thing that keeps me going as an artist. Is my fans, my supporters. Y'all are it. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody that's following me, man. If you're down with the movement, EST for life. You know what I'm saying? Grip and grain. Let us know. Hit us up. Mike Fees TV. I'm just about